Yeah, I've never had a kid tell me to F off three times before. And During the game and after the game. Who you know who that? it was. Same guy at all is every game. Did you guys – uh, 15 years I've been a head coach. Okay, five years with hugs, two with Coach Patino. I've never seen anything like it. Will you guys talk afterwards or talk again? There's nothing to talk about. Where I come from, there's nothing to talk about. And if he was playing for me, he wouldn't play. He wouldn't play for me. I know one thing. The narrative is not going to be J.P. McCura and Mick Cronin. It's not going to be the narrative. Because there are two sides to the story. There are two sides to the story. There was a reason that their coach was issued a technical in the game. There's a reason for that. I know that reason because the official told me what happened. So I'm not going to have the, the narrative be anything other than us playing better than Cincinnati and beating Cincinnati today. Beating. As far as he would never play on my team, I'm going to go back to 2009 and 2010 when I was the head coach and Lance Stevenson in front of me, right in front of me, called me the N-word three times and said, F you. After the game, guess what I did? I shook his hand. I shook his hand. That's it. That's it. There is no narrative. There is no narrative. We won. A year ago, we got our ass kicked. Guess what Max said? Got our ass kicked. Shook hands. I'll answer questions about that, about the game. I'm not answering any questions about he said, she said, when there's two sides to the story.